off of turn number four, green flag. RJ Murphy got a good run up. On Morabito, Gomes looking to make magic happen on the inside lane. And Ben Morabito is your leader with lap one lap on the board. They go three wide into one and two here. Make a full line in the lead. Four, five, eighty-seven wide off of turn number four. But out of the end of that scrum, Colin Vanessa is going to lead. Andrew Gomes, Brent Romano, Ryan Vanessa are running for second and third. But Colin getting it's a great jump. They're going to try to make a three wide again. Gomes to the outside. Ryan to the inside. Ryan's going to back off the throttle off of turn number four. He dives down to the inside. Takes the lead away momentarily from his cousin. It's an absolute hornet's nest at the front of the field here at Seekonk tonight. Finesse to the lead now. Followed by Robodeau. That is Brent Robodeau in the 25 in second. 78 car in third. That is Colin Vanessa. And don't look too soon, but in fourth, it looks like another Robodeau right now is making his way up there. That is Bryson Robodeau. The battle right now for second. Brent taking it away from Colin as they head into turn number one. Ryan Vanessa with about four car lengths down the back straightaway advantage. With a top three really nose to tail that battle. Heating up for fourth between Bryson and Andrew Gomes. Gomes taking a look on the outside. Nothing doing. Bryson able to take the spot away. As they stretch out, Ryan Vanessa and we've got a yellow. Number four, Chase looks him over. Gives him the green flag. We are back underway. Brent Romano got a great jump on that outside lane. His brother right behind him. That's the battle for second. The battle for the lead. Though he not look at Bryson Robodeau trying to take a look down to the inside. Trying to make it three wide for the lead. Ryan Vanessa able to cross over. Take that spot away. But Brent, Brent Robodeau, we got a caution. Multi-cars got together. Brady, Connor, Zach, Kelly, Badejo. Your front two rows. Andrew Gomes rounds out the top five. Off a of turn number fourth, field looks set. We are good to go back under green. Six laps down, nine to go. And already Brent Robodeau, Ryan Vanessa starting to break away from the field a little bit. It's a three and four they go. Colin and Bryson right behind them. This is gonna be tight off of four. Colin has to back off the throttle as does Brent Robodeau with Ryan Vanessa still setting the pace. The battle up front is between the Vanessas and the Robodos here. Eight laps to go. Ryan Vanessa Jr. in the lead. He's really starting to spread himself out. Colin Vanessa, his cousin, stretching himself out for a second with the Robodos in the battle for third. Andrew Gomes, Ben Morabito round out your top six. Nine laps on the board. The Robodos still side by side for third. Brent taking a good look up on the outside. He breaks away from his younger brother with Andrew Gomes breaking away from the Long Island native Morabito to take the last spot in the top five. Ryan and Colin Vaness, they've been a family of dom dominance. Ryan Sr., former Saturday night champion. And his son, barring something extreme, might be on his way to winning a third feature race in 2023. Certainly an impressive run up front here. The 11 car leads going into three and four. Vanessa across the line. Three to go. Top seven, top eight, top nine goes to tell. The battle heating up for third. Brent Robodeau is right behind Colin Vanessa. He'll take a dive down to the inside. Give that second spot though to Vanessa. He's able to hang on. Two laps to go. Robodeau. Ryan Vanessa still sticking up down the back straightaway. Colin Vanessa crossing over, taking that second spot back with Andrew Gomes getting a good run up behind Robodeau. That's your top five. Ryan Vanessa takes the white flag. One lap to go, one circuit here at Seekonk. Yeah, we do have a call. Uh, yeah, uh, Wakefield got hit. Duquette spinning to avoid, as was Connor. So, for the second time tonight, we yep, have. Yes, right. yes, we're going to have a green white checkered here. Folks and fans are getting their money's worth here tonight. 
Green White Checkered. Get off your feet and enjoy this one. Ryan Vanessa lead them to the green flag here. Got a good jump on it. Collins stuck right to that right wheel bumper into the back straightaway. The battle for second, Robido and Vanessa. Door handle the door handle and turn number three. Andrew Gomez breaking away for fourth place from Bryson. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Ryan Vaness is cruising with Brett Robido taking that second spot away. They are wheel to wheel in a turn number three still into three and four. O three 3 if Duquette goes around, Ryan Vaness Jr. will win. Brent Rivido with a good crossover to take away second. Kyle Vaness takes third. Andrew Gomes, Ben Morabito round out your top five. I never thought I'd get tired of saying the, uh, actually I'm not, I'm not tired of saying the same two names. Ryan Vaness in victory lane, three out of four. Colin, there's nothing much I could say other than the car looked really good. Your cousin was really, really fast. Yeah, he was fast all day. I mean, I had a really good car, um, but I want to thank everyone who helped me, my mom, my dad, um, the Monsoons, International CDO, Anchorage Rescue, TP Concepts, uh, ZF Outdoors, and NA Auto Parts. So take me through those couple cautions, because in both of them, really, you had the chance to get up, and also that little, little scramble we were calling it in lap two when you guys were about seven wide, heading into turn three, what was that like? Um, it was definitely a little nerve wracking, but as long as we can all get out clean, I was happy. It's the most important thing, you're absolutely right. A solid, very solid third place finish for you. Same thing with, same thing with Colin. I think if, if Ryan Vaness was sick, I mean, I thought one of you really could have won this race. Yeah, this is a really good race. I, I always love racing with Ryan and Colin. We're, we're all really clean, but I feel like we had a really good car today. We, we made some adjustments for last week, but I feel like if we had more laps, this race could have been ours, but, you know, we ran out of time. What's going through your mind when you guys got about seven wide and a turn three? Did you know this at all? Were you confident you were still able to work the inside lane and get a lead? I felt really confident. I knew we were three or four wide, wherever we are. I just, I just stuck it in and hopefully it stayed there, but which it did, and I've, I'm really proud of this day. Congratulations, Brent. Another victory lap, another trip to victory lane. <laughs> Don't steal the Kyle Busch bow. Come on now. All right, no, seriously, this car was a rocket. Oh, yeah, um, just... Working, just getting this thing faster every week, just to win all the races that, that we could. Uh, <laughs> good racing with uh, Brent and Colin and everybody else. Uh, this thing was fast, and uh, it took some time to get through the field, and uh, I got to thank everybody for uh, being here tonight. Did you think you still had it when that last caution came out in turn number four? Were you, were you confident you were able to plow this thing through, or were you worried about the speed behind you? No, I think I was able to hold them off because our car is really fast and, yeah, pretty much. Three out of four for Ryan Vanez Jr.